Hello, my name is John Kelly. I work for Spectro Analytical Instruments. And I'd like to demonstrate to you our new handheld x-ray unit, which is right here. And my colleague Dan Soisen will do the talking and the technical part while I run a sample for you right here. We're going to analyze a 304L stainless steel. This is our new handheld x-ray with the SDB technology. It's a new technology. We're able to do lighter elements with only a 10 second measure time. Or without the lighter elements, we could do two second measure times. And there you'll see the analysis of a stainless steel, a 304L. Gives you the full analysis right here on the screen. Actually measures the, the spark stand head as the calibration, so it's constantly monitoring itself on any drift in standard position. I'll run another sample right here. This is a titanium sample. In the titanium sample, aluminum is important. It's a 6 4, you're looking for a 6% aluminum. And in 10 seconds without healing surge or without vacuum, we're able to get the aluminum. What are the typical applications for these instruments? The typical applications are usually scrap guards, sorting scrap, stainless steels. They have no idea what's coming in, so they're just jumping in the truck and doing some quick analysis with it. But also, you can use them in the steel mills. We're doing stainless steel, just double checking product going out the door. Finished products, finished products where they don't want to see a burn mark left on the piece of that, uh, material that they're testing. It's totally non destructive. What sort of throughput do they have? How many samples could do, can you typically analyze with one of these in an hour? It takes, if you're looking at the lighter elements like aluminum, magnesium, and silicon, it takes 10 seconds to do a measure time. Everything's Bluetooth, so if you want to transmit that data, it's wireless Bluetooth off to your printer or off to your laptop. So every burns 10 seconds, calculate a few more seconds to transmit the data. And you must in one hour be able to do 50 samples, 40 to 50 samples. Now if you go down to the quick sort mode, you're only looking at two seconds per sample. And what, what is the quick sort mode? Quick sort mode is where you're not looking at the lighter elements. You're not looking at aluminum, magnesium, or silicon. And you're just looking at your basic sorting elements like chrome, nickel, mall, and cobalt, tungsten. Those elements, are, you can see them in about two seconds of full analysis, and then you're off to the next sample. Alright, thanks very much for demonstrating your device, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you.